David Bucknell is chairman of the Built Environment Hub. Well, it's, it's been very good because there's always a, a worry that you may not hook the thing together, but the main thing, the theme has been to work within the framework of, of what the partnership is aiming to achieve by 2025. And everybody, without too much sort of cajoling, um, has been actually working to the same agenda. So we've actually got uh, a number of people that are working forward. First time in my knowledge that the, the, the industry has been quite so united in where it's going and it's in its sort of direction of uh, travel. In terms of the people attending today, what was the general mood and feel? Well, I mean, number one, because it's coming out of recession, there's a, there's a degree of uh, more optimism. Um, that's always joined at the end of a recession by stress in that you've probably got less resources than you had before. I mean, the industry did lose about 20% when it hit recession. Um, and you've also got the financial trouble well no the resource issue when 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 an economy kick starts itself again it does take a lot more effort to push it's like pushing something uphill as opposed to level or downhill and so given those stresses more optimism quite a bit of stress and worry about whether there was the resources available to deliver to the demand what about anybody who perhaps uh, is thinking about this, has never been to this summit, uh, fellow professionals from the construction industry, what would you say to them to urge them to take part? Well, they've, they've seen, I think, that the, where we are at the moment is not going to be good enough going forward. The value for money that we give uh, is is corrupted slightly, considerably actually, by the fact that we're not as efficient as we should be. Uh, we, we don't always compare inefficiency with other um, countries uh, at productivity for construction. Our cost of construction is perceived and probably really is on a like-for-like -like basis to be a bit higher than other countries. So we've got to improve productivity. Everybody works hard, um, but basically we're a fragmented industry. And what they would have learned by today is that if we collaborate and integrate more, then in fact we can deliver more for less, and we should be able to either hold or even improve our margins. And in closing then, just sum up why you would um, really encourage those that perhaps are hovering, should I get involved or should I, it's a day out, it's time, everybody's busy. Just in 10 seconds, what would you say to them? If you don't come here, you don't see what, re what good can really look like and therefore you're missing the opportunity to, see, to set better and higher benchmarks of performance from your own company and your own self. So it's a very, very important thing to see what the potential of this industry is.